time for the faith walk of the day. Today, I want to talk about those in ministry. No matter what your ministry is, we all have something and there are always challenges. I know a lot of people are, you know, ask themselves, why is it so difficult? Why is it so this? Why is it so that? You have to think about it. You are trying to draw people to Jesus and the enemy's pissed about it. So he's going to attack you in every area of your life. I, I know I've told you before, but a lot of times when I am uh, doing something big, a, a book coming out, a, a video shoot, a, a, a recording, a live performance, when I tell you the enemy acts a straight up fool in my life, it happens in, it, I, I start arguing with Warren, the, the kids are acting up, the toilet gets stopped up. I mean, it's just, it's literally everywhere. Like I find out the one of the musicians ain't going to be there on a Sunday and we got like, it's just, it's just chaos. And the enemy is only trying to get your attention because there is purpose in your next assignment. There's purpose in your next move. And so he wants you to get distracted. So if you are a person that's in ministry and it's in social media, you have to regulate that, especially if you don't know how to control your emotions. If somebody's comment can frustrate you, if somebody's uh, a negativity can bother you, you need to put that down, especially when there's, there's times of ministry. You need to learn to consecrate yourself. That means separating yourself from the things that you normally do to get prepared for ministry. Praying, reading your word, fasting, making sure that you are prepared for what you're doing. Don't just live and do whatever and hang out and think you're going to get up and be amazing. It doesn't happen like that. You have to be intentional, even in serving God. And I know it's rough. I know that you deal with people and they don't like me and they're going to talk about me. I, I wish I had some nice fluffy answer for you, but I don't. Just get over it. Just, just, just grow up. That's it. That's all you can really do is tell yourself, Jesus took the abuse. I have to, too. They didn't, I don't hear none of the disciples writing in the Bible of how everybody was their friend. All they talk about is suffering and going through because the enemy is mad. And let's stop attacking people and realize who the real enemy is here. If you start defeating the enemy, because you really do have power over him. It's not like he can just run rush out all over your life and do what he wants. You can literally command the enemy to stop the foolishness. Now you, you gonna have to pray for real because he's been working on tearing you down for a long time. He's got an elaborate plan to destroy you. But the power of the Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of you is more powerful than the enemy's attack. So pray, prepare your spirit, get your mind right, get the foolishness out of the way, and make sure you focus on Jesus. And watch watch how you change. Things may not change, but you will change. Your confidence will change. You won't worry about what people saying. It won't bother you. You'll rise above, and you'll be able to effectively draw people to Jesus. Because that's what we're supposed to do. Whether you stand on the pulpit or the parking lot. Whether you work in children's ministry or you're on the worship team and you're up front and people see you all the time. It is our job to draw people to Jesus. You are a light. We are all a light. And sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's rough. And to those of you who are, who are in a rough season, I encourage you to stand strong in your faith. The enemy does wouldn't, wouldn't try to steal something that's not valuable. You are valuable to God. You are valuable in the kingdom. God, God loves when you go to the world and you tell them about who he is. Even if that's at your job or picking up your kids from school, we're always supposed to be drawing people to Jesus. It ain't an easy job, but it is one where the rewards are endless. Make sure you're serving and serving well. All right. That is my faith walk for the day, ladies and gentlemen.